you'll note that um, through some of the presentations I have to manually change the uh, characteristics of the uh, raster layers we can set this up in preferences so if we look at where are we settings options we can change a number of settings across the the general projects so RGB band selection I actually prefer to have a near infrared false color composite um, very few satellite data sets you'll get actually come pre-configured on a one two three setting they tend to be false color composites I would probably not use them uh, you could use standard deviation stretch because I quite like it and then let's stretch to a uh, min max and oh, let's cancel that, didn't want to do that uh, and we can apply that so next time we add a raster data set so let's look at a raster data set say from Ooh, Wadi Serene and set imagery the enhanced thematic mapper okay let's have a look at this data here and we can zoom to that layer extent and you'll see that it's already come in so let's zoom in in a way which we can see it we have a look at the layer. Oh. Ah, it's just calculating the histogram. Okay. You'll see that the style is 432. Stretch and clip to, to man max. And so we can use values in. Standard deviation. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. So there we are, we can use our preferences accordingly. While we're here, I will also load up the um, 20 meter aerial image. And let's choose one at random. Here we are. That will do. Let's zoom to that layer extent. Okay. There we are. Right, thank you all.